All right, so Henry Pittman Jr. grew up in Ohio, summa cum laude at Princeton. Princeton? That's great. Look, kid, I really like your blog, but honestly, you have no editorial experience. Look, sir, I'm not gonna lie. I saw my competition out in the lobby. Now maybe William Shakespeare himself is hiking up his Argyle socks and tweeting to his Starbucks therapy group about the killer icebreaker he's prepared for you. But unless you want a doctoral thesis or poetic couplets, you need a guy who's had his dick in something other than his Vaseline left hand. You're a lefty. Sir, these guys are writing from the heart. Dudes don't want that. They don't need some cutesy column. They need a literary wingman. I'm not gonna spend the next day hunkered down in a coffee shop drafting you a fave five. I'm gonna be reporting from the front lines, drawing you a Venn diagram of how much you wanna spend, how freaky you wanna get. <laughs> Would you fuck him? Um, sir. Great. You're hired. <laughs> thank you, sir. Don't thank me. Thank the whore. You put our address here. Yep. Sorry, you can't have your checks mailed to you at the office. Well, why not? I mean, that's not a rule. Uh, you just said I need an address. An address where you reside. Well, I reside here. Sir, don't make this difficult. Who's being difficult? Look, I gave you an address. It's not really my fault that you keep changing the rules. Listen, Keebler. My supervisor will not allow me to process this without a valid place of residence. Now, it doesn't make a damn bit of difference to me whether you get your fancy checks or not, and they do not pay me enough to put up with this bullshit. So you can either tell me where you live, or you can turn your skinny ass around and get out of my bubble. No, I do not accept bribes. Direct deposit, Alex Selkirk. 19 Ratcliffe Road, Dayton, Ohio. I live with my parents. Ohio. I commute. Dude up. Dude. Up.